Hi, Damien here at Slot Car. So I've got the track all laid out, been testing and doing a few things, making sure everything goes well, making sure that we can see enough past the various bits of scenery and so forth that's uh, it's on the track. But I thought before I dismantle it all and wire everything in permanently, I'd just go through it all and explain the track and the items around the track. This is where it all starts, the start finish straight. This piece here is a control unit from Carrera and this will be running the Carrera digital side of things. The digital for Carrera does a lot of accessories that simply plug into the track and work as soon as you plug them in which is fantastic. So we've got two um, charging bases here for wireless controllers and we've also got another one over there by the control tower. So we've got six wireless controllers all up. Here we've got the wireless dongle that they connect to. We've got a lap timer, we've got a driver's display here. We're actually going to have six of these around the track, one for each driver so they can keep an eye on their own fuel level. Here's the start light, which shows the lights and the start procedure for the cars that are racing. Now as we come down the start finish straight at the end here, we've got a double lane change section, so you can change from one lane to the other, either from either side. We've got a grandstand here with some people in it. All the corners, or at least all the outside of the corners, have these borders on for magless cars so that there's plenty of room for them to slide. Now after this corner we've got a fantastic chicane which is really fun to drive. After the chicane we go into this big sweeping turn around, uh, around this other piece of Carrera scenery in the middle here. After this turn we've got a, a uh, right to left a single lane changer that goes underneath this footbridge and then we also have a lane changer here just before the curve to go from the outside to the inside. Now that this is primarily so that our safety car can find its way all by itself back into its own pit which is just after the corner here. So let's also talk about this, this is the control tower which is just new from Carrera, looks fantastic and the cool thing is you can nestle into the back of it the position tower so that you can keep an eye on on uh, who is where and the position of your car against others. Now this is our big long main straight. We've got three drivers displays that will be fitted down here. Here's one, there'll be two more. We've got a uh, single lane change here so the cars in the outside can get to the inside lane if they want to make a last minute decision to head into the pits. So they can head in and the pit lane entry is here. We've used a digital narrow section rather than a regular pit piece and just taken the electronics and swap them over so that we've got a much higher speed entry to the pits. Um, we found occasionally you'd overcook it because of the big long straight and just going too hard. So we've put this piece in here to solve those problems. We've also got another uh, pit lane piece that's going to go in here so that we have a double lane pit. If you come into the pits there's already a car there, you can actually avoid it by going into the other lane. And we've got the two fuel sensors in there. Now we're also going to be reducing the voltage to the pit lane so that when you come in your car will instantly slow down to try and reduce accidents and, and rear end um, accidents in the pit lane. Uh, now at the end of the straight here we've got a double lane change so you can change from either lane. Around a right angle, right angle corner here, pit exit. Now this corner here is one that starts wide and tightens up as you go into it. It's a really nice corner to drive and it's the first of this double hairpin arrangement. We've also got a lane changer here, so cars that are coming out of the pits have, a, a, as they have an opportunity to get into the other lane if they wish to do so as soon as they're out of the pits. We've got a grandstand here as well. Now after, uh, after this corner here, we're back onto the start finish straight. Now here I've got the Skelectric digital power base. Now this is going to be sitting here and the Skelectric tower will be able to be plugged in or removed and taken out of the way. The reason why we're doing this so that we can show you the system on the track to customers and we're going to be wiring in all the Skelectric lane changer boards into the Carrera lane changers so that we can switch from Skelectric to Carrera uh, at a panel of switches here. We will also be able to switch over to analog to just race normal analog cars. 
We're also going to have switches to the anti-crash devices on each of the lane changes so we can turn them on or off. So that's the layout. It's fun to drive, works really well, and um, we're really proud of it. So now I'm going to dismantle everything and start cutting some holes in the table and running wires through. Plenty more work to do. For use in the shop here, I've chosen these Ferrari 458s to use with Carrera Digital. I did that because we've got six different colours that correspond to the colours of the buttons on the throttles. Apart from the blue one, which has just been released overseas, and I'm just waiting to get hold of. We've also got a Ferrari 458 safety car, so a complete set. 